Yo, I'm Spaghetti Slipper 36, and we know that the next operation will release around the time of CS2. And if you look at these graphs here, you'll see that old trade up filler skins tend to go up every time a new operation hits. And this is because people use them to get the new skins that just came out through trade ups. So I'm going over the best filler skins that you can buy from the blue to the pink rarity so that you can pick them up now and eventually flip them for profit when we hit the next operation. So starting off with the mil spec grade, we're going to see the anodized navy MP7, SG553, Deagle Urban Rubble, and the sawed off Amber Fade. These are all going to be the cheapest options, so they're going to be the most liquid, and these are all going to be under $2. Continuing on with the restricted skins, by far the best one is going to be the Emerald Pinstripe for the AK, and then the second cheapest is going to be P2000 Amber Fade. Definitely sees less price fluctuation, but still a good skin nonetheless. Now starting off with the classified tier, the two best ones to choose from are going to be the Cold Blooded and the USPS Serum, as these are the most popular, and they both don't look too fantastic, so kind of pick your poison to which one you want to invest in, but those you will see the most in trade-ups or other skins, as well as something like the FAMAS After Image and the P250 Undertow. And these are both good options and actually cheaper than the Serum and the Cold Blooded, but the problem is that the red in those collections are actually significantly cheaper than the red in the Serum and the Cold Blooded's collection, meaning you would lose more money potentially in a trade-up offer with those skins. Now finally to get into the most expensive tier, which are just options I'd like to mention, especially if you have the cash to get up to them, is going to be trade-up skins that you'd get specifically for the skin above them, meaning something like the Deagle Hypnotic, which trades up into the Lightning Strike Op, which is pretty lucrative as a trade up in itself and then the USPS target acquired which trades up into the op fade which can be even more lucrative potentially because of the CS2 lighting effects. But yeah, I hope this video helped and this was just to give you an idea of what skins you could look at and maybe some ones that you potentially want to buy. And if you want a full explanation as to why these skins are good as an investor, check out the video on the top right as it explains everything. Now I hope you enjoyed and if you did, please consider subscribing. I'm trying to hit 8,000 subscribers by the end of the month. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Bye bye.